I designed this reel rack last year when I thought I'd only ever have a few reels on hand. I now need to rethink this idea where I can have varying length racks and not require metal rods to hold it together. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Fusion 360. I've got two sketches open, the reel, which is the guide, and the stand. The stand is just a sketch. It was exported as a DXF to be laser cut before, so I don't actually have any 3D models, so we need to build one. So I'm just going to turn off the reel and uh, just get a little bit closer to the stand. Now, for the stand to work, we need to not only give it a side and extrude out the areas that the reel are going to sit onto, but we also need it to have extruding poles on one side and holes on the other side so we can join them into each other. The whole idea is for this to be modular. So what I'm going to do is just go into edit this sketch. I need to stick a hole over here, probably make this um, make it four mil in diameter. So it's going to be a smaller hole than the other ones. So there, that's four mil. I believe these ones are 6.5. So we'll have to cut some holes out afterwards. So eight millimeter parts on tape have a reel that's about 13 mil wide in total, if you include the sides of the reel. And then 12 mil tape has about a 17 mil width. So what I want to do is grab these sections here. We're going to extrude them out and they're going to be 13 mil plus the thickness of the wall. So I want them to be, if we make it two mil wide for the wall, so they'll be 15 mil, and then the wall itself will extrude out to be two mil, which is not very thick for a 3D printed face for a wall, but these are going to be joined into each other. So my expectation is they'll be able to support each other and they're not taking any real load at all. Okay. So right now we have holes going all the way through. It's not quite what we want. So on this side, I'm just gonna grab all of these and I'm going to extrude them to start with. So it was 15 mil. I want them to stick out an extra six mil. So 21 mil, I'm gonna make them pop out. So we've got protrusions that are six mil wide. Might not be enough. I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to cut into them. So extrude, and I'm also going to do six mil, I'll make it maybe seven mil. And this time I'm going to cut out. So I now have a hole on one side and a peg on the other side. Will it be enough to hold them together? Probably not, but I don't want to get this cavity inside here too thin. The idea is to put them all together and not necessarily glue them. Just have them sit together with friction. I might have to make those holes actually a little bit wider, a fraction wider, just to make sure that they fit. So I'll just turn off the sketch and grab that. And I'm going to do a Q, which lets me push or pull. And I'm going to go negative 0.1, just to make it a fraction wider. Might be too much. Okay, so we now have a stand that's designed for an eight mil reel. So I'm going to print a couple of these up and see if they fit together and if they work okay. So here we are in Prusa Slicer. I'm just going to grab my STL that I exported and bring it in and I'm going to just uh, rotate it to get it to the ground and I'm going to duplicate it and then tell it to auto space them out. It's not a fantastic fit doing it this way. I might actually just uh, rotate this one around and move them into place just so there's less travel. So we're just going to do two of them for now and see if they fit together okay. So PET G, yep, 0.2 millimeter height. Uh, infill, I think, yeah, 15% is fine. And let's just check what the infill settings are. Gyroid, no, I'm just going to go make that rectilinear as well. It's good, let's slice it. So I'm not doing any supports for the holes. They should be small enough that they'll work okay. Excellent. And now let's send this off to the printer.
Okay, and here they are, straight off the Prusa. They've, uh, they've come out pretty well. There's a lot of uh, wispy bits around these top posts. When printing with PETG, you get a lot of retraction issues and you get a bit of garbage. But if anything, I'll just make it clamp together a bit nicer. So, does it fit together? That's the big question. Let's find out. Ooh, that's a satisfying sound. That is very satisfying. Nice. So it does fit together. Uh, oh, okay, might have to um, just clean it up a little bit. There's a bit of a gap there, as you can see. But overall, if they all get connected together in a row, there'll be a lot of support. Because individually, if I just pull this out, They're a little bit flimsy, as you can see, as I mentioned when I was designing it. But together, they will be quite sturdy. So, will a reel fit in it? That's the question. So I have a reel of, what are they? 3.3K 0603s, 5,000 of them. Does it fit? It does. Look at that, the reel's a bit um, mangled, just the way they package them in the boxes. They tape them together on corners like this, and so the rest of it bows out of shape during transit. But that works really well. And if you look from the bottom, it doesn't hit the bottom. So that's sitting really well inside here. I think we have a solution for a modular rack. Unfortunately, these two here took about two and a half hours to print. So it's gonna take a long time to print a lot of these. But one thing I'm going to do for the next run is I'm going to cut out this section just here. I don't think it's needed support wise. I'll still keep this quite wide, probably over a centimetre wide. But the more I cut away, the quicker it's gonna print. But yeah, let's uh, go print some more and see if we can build a nice rack. I have added a cutout onto the side to reduce the amount of printing time, hopefully. I have no idea if it'll actually reduce it much. I've also made a couple of other changes. I've made this pole and hole the same size as the other ones, although it does look bigger, but the smaller diameter peg was a little bit too small, too easy to break off. And finally, the last thing I did was I extended this front section. So what I need to do is extrude this out. So I've actually made this longer at the front to allow a label to go here. So I can stick a label for what value it is. The other version finished around here and it was a bit too short to, to fit a label on there. And I've also cut a section of it out to again hopefully reduce how much printing time there's gonna be. Because I estimate I'll have to maybe print about 60 or 70 of these, maybe even more. So I need to reduce the print time as much as possible. Okay, let's get this printed and see how these turn out. We're back. We have some new printed pieces, hot off the printer. Well, they've cooled down a little bit now. So these are the old ones, these are the new ones. Unfortunately, they did not take less time to print. They actually took more time to print. About nine minutes more than the two of these. So that did not achieve anything, cutting this out. Let's just give it a bit of a clean up, just like we did on the previous ones. Once again, it's just a little bit messy. I want to make sure that they all fit together. We can just do one side. Okay, so fingers crossed. All nice and tight, but okay, much tighter fit than the last ones. So I might have got my tolerances a little bit wrong. Yeah, might have to give it a bit of a clean up. But there we go. So this is the new version. So it sits like this. Plenty of room for a label on the front now. As you can see, it's much longer. So I can fit a much longer name. That would almost fit together, except for this bottom connector. It's got a bigger peg now. And once again, 
fits in. So exactly the same as before. It's just a shame that I can only print two at a time. I tried printing four of this one, but it got too close to the edges of my print bed and the Prusa was doing some weird things at the very edges. So I took it back off and just printed the two. But it's a good result. I'm going to keep printing these and put together a modular rack. So thank you for watching. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the alarm bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. If you aren't new, welcome back. And to my patrons, as usual, you're fantastic. I will catch you all later. Bye.